Hey guys, this is Kyle Ross. Welcome back to the channel. When we left off last time, we went to bed here in the Milton house and uh, we woke up, we took our meds, we did some inventory management, fed ourselves, got something to drink. And so now uh, our health is a lot back, is a lot better than what it was after getting attacked by the wolves earlier. And so now we're just going to kind of start a little more of our exploration of the town itself. Uh, just because we weren't able to really do that, we basically we checked out the credit union, and we were able to look in the post office. But um, we're going to start kind of checking out some of the vehicles in this area, and a lot of these homes. It feels like there's a lot to explore here, but a lot of these homes are boarded up, and so you can't necessarily get into as many as you think that you can. Uh, but that's all right. In some ways, it does get a little monotonous checking out the same thing time after time after time after time. And I know you kind of sign up for that a little bit with this game, but um, but a little bit of variety definitely goes a long way. Checking out a glove box here. And the paint. Again, I tend to just leave that behind. I don't mark stuff. Although, with all of these houses, I can see that getting confusing, and maybe I can start using it some, maybe at least a little bit more, but... Pickup truck, nada. I'd really love to find the pistol, just to be able to ward off some of the wolves. Right now, temperature is pretty cold, wind's blowing a little bit, you can see our temperature gauge dropping you got three arrows kind of going down at the same time. And got kind of an abandoned old house. Not a lot in this location. Cardboard box. Light this up and see if there's anything that we can find. Toolbox. Thank goodness. Charcoal. Okay, put that out. Not exactly a lot in this old house. Long loading screens. Yeah, and at some point, we'll probably make our way to the farm that is to the west of this location. Uh, there's a farm that's got a couple things. There's a farmhouse out there. Uh, there's a barn. And so we'll probably run into some deer out there as well. I don't think there's a moose there, but... All right, so now we're checking out this house, seeing what we've got. Really hard to see without any light. Got some firewood here that we can pick out. We can drop that back into our main base. We've already got a fair bit. Fair bit of firewood in our main base. Can opener, we already have one, but doesn't hurt to consolidate it all in one place. Toaster, need a hacksaw to cut up the toaster. I'm not sure for certain, but food that deteriorates, does it 
does it only deteriorate whenever you find it or say is there is there food on the coastal highway that is slowly deteriorating as we speak is there food in desolation point that's that's losing its value and that doesn't seem to be the case but i can't say that i've ever had a playthrough long enough like 100 days in 200 days in to go over there and find that everything is falling apart like i don't i haven't played a game that long but i wonder if that's the case I think that would be a pretty brutal move if you were to, yeah, spend your time in one location and then find that all the other food in the game is Take totally food. destroyed because you just didn't get to it soon enough. My guess is that it only wears out once you find it. But I could be wrong. Got some socks. Again, there's some more spray. Sewing kit. And can't get the teddy bear, unfortunately. We could break that chair down, but I'd rather not over overweigh myself. We're going to put this out. I think we found everything we needed to find here. And this one's boarded up, so not gonna mess with that one. Okay, and post office, we've already checked the post office out. Let me take a look at these cars. We're keeping our eyes open for the wolves, though, just because we'd rather not get ambushed like we did last time. Nothing in the back seat. Nothing in the front Excellent. seat. Maybe some Stacy's grape soda. Have the long dark developers made any of these beverages? I think that would be a great a great little I don't know, affiliate marketing, maybe novelty idea is to actually produce some of these and put these labels on them for all the long dark fans. I, I think that would, I think there's a market for that. I think the Long Dark fans would buy stuff like that. Stacy's Grape Soda and Summit Summit Soda. Uh, some of the other products that we see in the game. Zap Energy Bars. I think that would be really cool. Even to make some of the survival supplies that go with this. The Lantern. The um, the rifle and the pistol, I could see that being kind of controversial, but you could just make the knives, you could make the hatchets, and just sort of the survival gear. Uh, even maybe make some kind of kit and advertise, like you get a backpack or a moose hide satchel loaded with different long dark survival equipment. I think that'd be really cool. I think people would buy that. If you charge, I don't know, charge 30 to 50 bucks for something. Maybe have different packages. You have a $30 one, $50 one. If you really wanted to put some cool stuff in it, you could do 75 I don't know. 100 seems to be just a little outrageous, but you've got some hardos out there that'll, that'll probably fork it up. But alright, so we are currently over our carrying weight, but just by a little bit. We'll see what we can find here. And then we may head back to our main house to unload. We know we're likely going to get loaded down with water, but we'll see what else we can find. And do the normal fun, open every kitchen cabinet in every cabin. Uh, 
it's amazing whenever you absolutely don't have food and need food and you find something but uh, you you have to look you have to find it so tedious but that's what makes it real I guess new dog food yeah my luck I would get a $30 Moose hide satchel or backpack, and they would fill it with new dog Something's food. Gotta go, and toilet water. <laughs> I mean, I'm throwing this idea out there. I'm I'm pretty sure that I couldn't just take this and run with it because there would be licensing and copyright issues all over the place for the developers, but. If there was a way around that, it's, it's not a bad idea. Somebody wants to pitch this idea to the long dark. Sorry, I'm actually checking to see if there's any of these kits on here. I don't see I don't see anything. I just see stuff for games. But yeah, that would be cool. Alright. Did I just hear a wolf? I can't really tell. I'd rather not get attacked again. All right, let's check and see what we've got in this house. Same thing. Okay, got a can opener. I think that's like three or four now, but we'll keep it just because we can tear it down for metal later if we need to. Searching the cabinets. Yeah, I told myself I would go back to the main base and dump all this, but clearly I didn't. There's always that part of you that says one more house, one more location, one more run. And let's see here. Lots of books in this zone. Lots of books that you can use to start fires. And for those of you who don't know, um, some books obviously you can read as skill books. Others just say, others you can just burn. Uh, but if you hover over it with your cursor and it just says book, then that's a book that you burn, nothing else. If you if you put your marker on it or your cursor over it and it is like a title, those are the ones that you read for skills. And most of the time, I want to say when you go to burn a book, if you go to burn a skill book that you haven't, learned everything from it, it might give you a warning. I want to say that that's the case. Put those books, book, book, both will burn. We'll keep those for now. We're already kind of carrying a lot of heavy weights. And our toilet water may put us over the max.
And again, with the wind blowing like it is, I don't think there may not be any wolves out. And it's pretty cold. Have we checked this house yet? Yeah, see, here's where the spray paint would actually come in handy because some of this gets confusing because you think, well, I can't get in that house, but I can get in this one. Did I look at this one? And this one looks familiar. Okay, fridge is empty. Yeah, container's empty. Okay, yeah. I remember... Yeah, I remember that microwave being on the ground. So that means that we have explored this location. Yep. We'll go ahead and get our rifle out just to be ready. Yeah, with that wind blowing, I don't know if wolves are going to be out. Take that. And we got a candy bar, nuts and stuff. Yeah, now anytime I pick up an item, I think about the survival kits. I can't I can't stop thinking about it. I'm thinking about having like a food kit with all the novelty food items in it. A tool kit would be really cool with a sewing kit. Even some of the clothing items, I think that would be really cool. Uh, you know, like the like the pea coat would be cool, and the parkas, and the even to have uh, worn socks and things like that. Uh, I don't know. Flares, I could see that being a little dangerous. Uh, couldn't sell those to kids. That could that could be a mess. Parents, I would not buy. I would not buy your children the flare kit with the distress pistol or flares in them. That wouldn't be good. Okay, this is another one of those sort of almost like storage sheds, and I'm not really finding a whole lot in this one. So we'll put our lamp out and go back out. pretty slow at this point we're pretty weighted down but why hmm. I hear a wolf it's hard to tell sometimes if those stumps in the distance are wolves or not right, we will take all this inside and see if we can't Sort it out, do some inventory management. Not much room on that side. Drop some of our firewood down just because that's going to waste down. And same with the books. Yeah, those books are heavy. 
and we're actually carrying around a hunting book but as long as I have parasites I will not be able to focus on reading it yeah I've got books over here too so I have to remember that but yeah you you're not going to be able to read or learn to do anything any new skills per se uh, when you have the parasites so we've got to wait for those to pass no pun intended In a weird way, I don't know what it is, but I, I I personally enjoy the inventory management of everything. Sometimes it is hard to leave things behind, but I know for YouTube, it's probably one of the most like dreadful things to watch. So I try to cut it out whenever I can. Um, sometimes I'll start playthroughs or end playthroughs with that on the tail end and kind of trim that out just because, yeah, it is it is kind of a dreadful thing. But in the middle of it, eh. Just let it ride. Go ahead and get something to eat. Fill our. Well, let's see. We'll actually we'll dump that off for now because we do we do definitely need some water and something to eat and. We can maybe just get an hour's worth of sleep. Still should should give us some daylight. I don't think it affected our stamina all that much, but we'll drink some water because we're carrying around about 10 pounds of water and eat the food that we have. Every little bit lightens us up a little bit more. But, yeah, I think with the energy that we have, we can get out and maybe scavenge a few more things before it gets dark. And we'll go down kind of here to the west. If you keep going down this road, you'll cross a bridge and come to the farm. And that might be where we go in the next episode. But there's a couple cabins just along this way that may have some things in it that we're going to check out. What have we here? This will come in handy. I'm 
New location, Milton House. Every house is a Milton House. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Check the ovens, check the cabinets. I gotta take this food. Soda. Dun, dun, dun. Another book. All right, we're officially heavy, and our lantern light is sort of waning, which can almost give you a headache if you pay attention too much. this. And like always, we will take that half gallon of toilet water. This pack is getting kind of heavy. So we're already, already over encumbered, already carrying kind of our max capacity. So I think what we'll do is we'll head back to our main base. We'll head back to our main base and we may call it quits for there. And then save, save what we have for the next zone. Or say what we have for the next video, I should say. We'll probably head out to the farm and uh, probably run across some deer and some wolves or something like that. But before we do, we may just take, take one look back here at this little shed. See if there's anything else, any like loose firewood. Whatever that thing is. Uh, hatchet. Nice. Never hurts to have a backup and a hacksaw. Same there. Those are two good items. Stale chocolate bar. And with that, we'll just head on back. Boom. All right. So we'll go in, get some rest, do some inventory management. And uh, this has been Kairos. Be sure to like and subscribe for more long, dark content. We'll see you next time.